David here from David Christopher's and we are back to show you another how-to video but this time we don't have a Christmas tree <sighs> no Christmas tree but that's okay because David is going to show us how to decorate a beautiful lantern and show you how to take maybe a lantern you already have or you can order one from our website at davidchristophers.com how you can add some different pieces to that lantern to create a beautiful look for Christmas I'm going to try and go through a few different options that you can use to uh, maybe fill your lantern, add decorations to your lantern, around your lantern, and then maybe a couple of different things. Okay, so you're going to hear it here. Some great tips on decorating your lantern for Christmas time. All right, so first thing you're going to need with your lantern is you're really going to need candles because the lantern really needs candles. So we do have some battery operated versions um, so you know these you just turn on or they actually have uh, this is a set of three that comes with a remote so you can you know turn them on with the remote if you prefer to uh, this set of three is a good size set because it has different sizes in it and we're going to put those in our lantern So while your lantern may look okay like this, we really want to take it up a notch. So one thing that you can do is um, we're going to use some berries and some pine. We want this to be this kind of a natural looking lantern. Uh, we really want to keep it very natural. Um, so we're going to use some pine and just and maybe a small branch. And then I've got a cedar pick right here use that also and you don't really need a lot for this but what we're going to do is we're going to bend the stem around and we're going to open our lantern and we're going to place this cedar somewhat around our candles and it's a good thing that they are battery operated because they would be burning me right now but we're going to put the cedar in there we're going to put some of the pine around the other side and then we're going to use a little bit of this berry pick just to give it some red color kind of like it's growing up around the candle um, something like that you can always take just a little bit more pine if you want something right in the center that in and you can cut things as small or as large as you need but you really don't have to have a lot and it's a really simple option um, to use for your lantern so that's option one I don't know about you but I cannot wait to see option two so here's option two we're gonna take uh, some magnolia, some pine, some berries, and maybe you've got you know some options that have uh, pine, cedar, berries, and pine cones all in one piece. We're gonna decorate the outside of the lantern. So what we're gonna start with is I've got a couple of different options. Like this one has magnolia already in it, so we could use that. And we've got this one that's got the pine cones and a little bit of cedar. So we're actually going to use, I'm going to use this one. And really what we're going to do is we're just going to make a long piece. I love this uh, rattan ball uh, spray. It's got these small little rattan balls on it. And we're just going to use this and place this where it feels kind of natural. So I actually don't need all of the rattan ball. So I'm gonna cut this piece off for right now. And we're gonna use this. So this hangs down really well. And then we're gonna add some of the cedar, this more expensive natural touch cedar. It's one of my favorite greenery options uh, because it just has such a great two-tone color and it actually feels real. Uh, this is a new type of plastic that, that feels really great to touch. It feels like the real thing. And then I'm going to put this uh, 
more of a fur pine behind that. And then really what we need to do is just take this and cut it down. And then I feel like at this point I need a little more red. So I've got a couple of different options for some more red berries. I think I'm gonna add this red berry pick here because I just want a little bit more. And then we're gonna tie this together. I'm actually gonna use my red berry pick to wrap around this and tie that together in that point. And then we can take a piece of wire. So I'm gonna take a piece of wire. Don't need one quite that long. Cut it down just a little bit. And I'm gonna thread that through to where we can pull it around and wire this to the top of our lantern. So it doesn't take long, not real complicated. Now what we're gonna have is we're gonna have these pieces at the top that we're gonna wanna bend down just a little bit if you can. Don't want them to stick up too far. And we're gonna go back and we're gonna hide some of that on the back side. take the wire that we already used to tie the bow and we're gonna go around the lantern completely don't worry about seeing the silver wire we'll come back and touch that up in just a bit cut this a little bit shorter and our bow is attached our bow is attached, but we probably want to adjust it a little bit. So we want to tuck some of the streamers down maybe under the pine cone, get a little bit of the cedar up on top of the ribbon uh, so that it doesn't look like the ribbon is the only real part of the uh, construction that we've done here. We want to be able to see the other things that we did also. We cut this ribbon if we'll fold that and just cut as long as you've got good ribbon scissors and then we're pretty good with our our ribbon right there okay finishing touch i don't like to be able to see mechanics at any point at any time so on the back side here where we've got a little bit of our stems still showing i'm going to take some of this pine that i cut off earlier and I'm just gonna tuck it in where I had some wire left over so that we can efficiently cover the stems and the wire that we used to wire everything together. So when I do these things to try to show you how I do them, I try to do it with it facing you instead of facing me so that you can see more details about what I'm doing. Aw, is this for me? And we're ready for option three. Good job, honey. And now we have option three. But why is this wreath here? It was not here in the other shot, so it's gonna look weird now. Why do you have this wreath here? That is option three. <laughs> okay. Okay, so how is this wreath option three? 
What does it have to do with the lantern? Oh, I see. So you're just going to tie it in with the branches from the wreath. Option three. <laughs> Often, lanterns will come as a set of two. A smaller lantern with a larger lantern. And the smaller lantern inside the larger lantern. So I'm trying to give you an option of what you can do with two different size lanterns. Um, and we're of course going to decorate the wreath because we don't leave that blank in paper poster. To get started, we're going to actually use our rattan ball spray. I'm going to cut it just a little bit. You don't have to. Of course, I have it. I cut almost everything, even if I don't need to, just because it makes me feel more confident. So I'm going to put that in, and I'm going to use a piece of my wreath to wire that in. So we're going to show you how to do this without glue pan, without all those things that a lot of people think are necessary. I usually use that when I'm making one for the store just because I want it to be completely permanent. But this is kind of a DIY do it for yourself at home. Um, so we're going to use a couple of these branches and we want this to feel as if it's kind of growing around the lantern. So I'm going to place another one underneath and use a couple of pieces of pine also here to twist around that and hold that securely in place. And keep in mind you can always, most of our products are all wired and they're going to allow you to bend them and separate them in the direction you want them to go. I had a little piece this left over from my other lantern. I'm going to cut it now and add it going down right here. And again, using a piece of the vinyl to wire that in. And then we're really just going to layer some more pines and berries uh, around this structure that we've already built. So we've already got our lines that we want to mimic. Um, so really you can just take your, your berries and um, pine, uh, all those pieces, and add those in in similar directions to where we just put the rattan spray. Use the uh, wreath itself to wire those in. And this one I won't cut. I can use a little length right here. It's a good wispy wired berry spray. Let me move the berries where I want them. Then I like to use a lot of different varieties of berries when I'm doing things. So this one's more of a crab apple berry with, uh, with little leaves on it. I'm actually going to cut some out of my garland here. Garlands are a good thing. You can always take and cut that apart if you're doing a wreath. Or actually, I'll cheat many times when I'm decorating a wreath. If I want to go all the way around, and I'll wire the garland in and just shape that out. But for this, we're going to cut some of our, our garland apart. Make it kind of like a vine berry coming down. Just keep wiring that in in any place you feel like it needs a little more structure. But I like my wreaths to be very three-dimensional and have a lot of depth to them, not really flat. I want it to look like it's coming out and growing at you. Now I'm going to start layering a couple of pines and berries on top of my berries so that I can add more berries and then ribbon and other things. Okay, so while he's adding that, I just want to remind everybody, while he's oh. adding that, 
I just want to remind everybody that you can find everything that you see in our video today on our website at davidchristopher.com. We have a wholesale store and a retail store. And if you're one of our wholesale customers, we can get you set up pretty quickly so that you're able to see the wholesale pricing and things like that for your store. And if you're a retail customer, you'll see everything you need for this theme under Woodland Estate. So if you go to our website at davidchristophers.com and you click on shop by theme, you're going to see the Woodland Estates theme and that'll make it easy to find the different berries and what did you call these balls? Rattlands? Rantans? Rattan. Rattans. Hey, I was close. You'll find the, the, the Rantans, the Rattlands and the ra la la las on our website because we have it all. Lots of the Rala Lala's on the website. <laughs> but I like to take my my wreath base, uh, which is a less expensive uh, greenery, and I add a couple of more expensive uh, sprays and stems to that just to just to give it a little more natural look and feel. And I can make that more three dimensional as you can see also. piece of the, the wreath itself and I'm going to wrap around a piece of my ribbon so that it kind of tucks in and then comes back out. Otherwise you have ribbon on top of everything. That also allows us a little smoke and mirror display so that we can add more ribbon in places that you feel like you need it. Because it's already like it's disappearing into the wreath, coming back out of the wreath. So if I feel like I need a longer piece somewhere, I can just go in, wire an end into my wreath somewhere, and then use that to come out of my wreath. So I want to keep my colors flowing really well and really balanced throughout where I put the berries. So I'm actually going to put a piece of ribbon in and let it go through the top. So again, we're going to let it come out and then tuck it back in really deep inside the wreath so that it kind of disappears in a couple of places. You have to be a little bit forceful with it sometimes. Get it down in there. And our ribbon's in there. So now we just need to add a couple more things this side over here to finish it out. ribbon because I think the colors look so great. I'm going to use this variegated holly.
gooseberry ball and also a four inch gooseberry ball because not only thing better at Christmas than berries is more berries. And we're going to use this, um, they have a fishing line hanger. They work great for dough bowls or things if you just want to lay them in a tray or fill a vase with them. But they also have a fishing line hanger on them. And we're going to use that fishing line hanger to wire them into this wreath. So these lanterns turned out gorgeous. I absolutely love this. So pretty and beautiful. And of course the wreath is equally gorgeous. Great job, David. If you liked our video today, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn your notification bell on so you don't miss the next videos that we're going to be doing because there are some fantastic ones coming up. Thank you for watching again.